Court is calling 2023 CR2917, State of Texas versus Katrina Ruiz. Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? It's not done for the state. Defense? Mario Moreno for the defense room. Are you Ms. Ruiz? Yes. Counsel, have you received all the discovery and did you review it with your client? I have it and I did, Your Honor. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Ms. Ruiz, I'm showing you what's entitled application for deferred adjudication. Did you review that with your attorney? Yes. Did you understand it? Did you sign it? Yes. Going to show you what's entitled true bill of indictment. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. Counsel, do you waive the reading of the indictment? We will waive it. State, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? We are, Your Honor. Ms. Ruiz, I'm showing you what's entitled court admonishments and defendants waivers and affidavit of admonitions. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Did you understand you're charged with the offense of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon? That's a second degree felony. The range of punishment is anywhere from two to 20 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. You're gonna have to speak up. Oh, yes ma'am. If you have a plea with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court does not follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand by entering this plea bargain agreement you were giving up those rights? Yes, ma'am. And did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea in this case? Did you understand that the court would have grant your application for deferred adjudication if for any reason your deferred adjudication were revoked the court could find you guilty, sentence you up to 20 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Yes, ma'am. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? She hasn't. Do you believe she has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against her? Yes, ma'am. Do you believe she's currently competent, was legally sane at the time of the offense? I do believe so. Ms. Ruiz, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter the plea? No, ma'am. Anyone promised you anything other than the plea? No, ma'am. Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes, ma'am. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, ma'am. Court will find that defendant has yeah. knowingly and voluntarily waived her right to jury trial, showing you the plea bargain page. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. According to the plea, state recommends deferred adjudication. They're taking in consideration county court cause number 721061. There's an affirmative finding of family violence. There's to be no contact with Nia Amor and Maya Ortega. Did you understand with an affirmative finding of family violence, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand with an affirmative finding of family violence, you're not allowed to be designated as primary custodial parent? Yes, Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, ma'am. Defense? Yes, Your Honor. State? Yes, Your Honor. Did you also understand if the court determines that there was a weapon involved, the court will enter an affirmative finding of deadly weapon? Yes, ma'am. All right. I'm going to show you what's entitled waiver of appeal paragraph. Did you review that paragraph with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in both places? Yes, Did you understand by signing that you're waiving your right to appeal? The only items that can be appealed are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, have there been any such motions? Uh, not filed, no. Outside the agreement, the state is requesting that your deferred adjudication be for a term of six years. Did you understand those were recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Then to the offenses charge, how do you plead guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest? State, any evidence? Yes, Your Honor. State offers states one and attachments. No objections. And state, have you been in contact with the complainants? We have. All right. And they're aware of this offer? They are. All right. All right. You may continue to confirm. You, You're welcome. I'm going to show you what's entitled waiver and consent to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, ma'am. Again, did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand that today the state will be presenting evidence in the form of witnesses' statements and police reports, but most importantly, there will be no live testimony. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Court will find that the defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence state's exhibits one and attachments, and the court will review the same. All right. After reviewing state's exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty. The court will defer finding of guilt as you've applied for deferred adjudication. Are you proceeding with sentencing? Yes, sir. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? 
Uh, only, Your Honor, that Ms. Ruiz uh, has been a, a very exceptional client, a uh, very nice young lady, uh, as far as I'm aware, in, in terms of her relationship with me, very respectful. She's always been very respectful to the court as well, um, on time, um, and, and present at every hearing. We'll ask that the, the court uh, uh, please follow the uh, plea, uh, plea agreement and recommendation. All right. Are you employed? Yes, ma'am. What do you do? I work at Costco. Okay. Any children? Uh, no, ma'am. So who are you living with now? I live with my, my dad. Okay. All right. This is what the court will do. The court will sentence you to six years deferred adjudication. There's to be no contact with Nia. I don't know if this is pronounced Shade or Sadie. Uh, Shade. Shade. S-A-D-E. Yes, ma'am. Amor, A-M-O-R, or Maya Ortega. Proof of employment within 15 days. No employment as a home health care provider or with minors. There's an affirmative finding of deadly weapon. Affirmative finding of family violence. There should be regular UAs. Or you can do the patch. Patch costs more, but with the patch, they just put it on you and then they see you probably once a month to remove it. Regular reporting by Zoom or in person. Bill visits one time per month for two months. And the BIPP course. Probation, is there anything else she needs? All right, is there anything else you need from the court to be successful? Uh, no, ma'am. All right, and taking consideration county court cause number 721061. All right, I'm going to show you what's entitled trial court certification of defendants' rights to appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it and did you sign it? Yes, ma'am. All right, because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Because this is an affirmative finding of family violence, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? All right, we can go off the record. This is what I've learned on my time on the planet. When you break up with somebody, this whole thing of, we're going to continue to live together. We're going to continue to sleep in the same room. Then you're not broken up. And you can't be on the phone talking to people that your current ex thinks you should not be talking to because you all think y'all are still in a relationship and you're not. So usually when you break up with somebody, it's best to cut the ties completely. So I've given you a no contact order. That means you are not to call. You are not to text. If they call or text you, you need to block them. If they come by, to, by your home, you need to call the police. Because if something happens, I know Valentine's is coming up. People get in their feelings. They want to send some flowers. Hey, let's try to make this work. No. And this is the other thing I learned from my grandmother. When you break up with somebody, unless you've addressed the problems that caused the breakup, they're still there waiting for you. And they'll be waiting for you after the chocolate and the flowers are given. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. There's to be no contact. And before you get in another relationship, get an orchid. Get it with the flowers on it because they're beautiful, right? Yes, you see them and you're like, this is so beautiful. Take it home. Once those flowers fall off, you really will not be ready for a relationship until you get that same orchid to bloom again. And I say that because orchids, they have all these instructions, put ice cubes in them. You're not supposed to put ice cubes in them. Oh. They have these instructions. Give it sunlight, but not direct sunlight. Don't move it too much. So orchids teach you patience. And then you know what else it teaches you? When you put all the work in and you want those flowers to bloom and they don't, it teaches you acceptance. You understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. Oh, I just, sorry, clarification from the court. Yes. Miss um, Ruiz would be able to... Uh, Swing by her pre-trial service officer for the removal of her GPS device as well. All right. Any objections to the removal of GPS? Uh, no, Your Honor. All right. All right. GPS will be removed. Can I have her file? Yes, Thank you. 
Thank you. And there's been some recalls on certain things at Costco's. You know, I went to Costco's once and I'm like, <laughs> Costco's, you can go in there from birth to death. You know, they sell caskets at Costco's. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm you? just like, Never looked for. <laughs> I'm like stunned. And they're right next to the vending machines. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I'll, I'll, Fun I'll fact. Wait a while before I... But I tell you, the good thing about Costco's, if you go to Costco's on Saturday, you can take a date to Costco's on Saturday because all the food is free. <laughs> Every section you go to, you can give them shrimp because they're serving a shrimp. Then they have the alcohol beverages. Then you go to dessert. You can get you can take somebody for a full meal. Oh. Say this is our date. Make a note of that. Make a note. I uh, I really really like the dollar uh, fifty hot dog and drink combo, Judge. That's my get out of town. <laughs> well, I may have to stop back home. <laughs> And if your date be, thinks you're being cheap, you know what you can tell them, do you know how much this Costco yeah. card costs? <laughs> All right, they'll go over conditions with you. If there's an issue, let probation know. If you feel like they're not addressing it, you can come back to this court. All right, good luck to you. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. Let's get the facts straight. She loves a verbal ashtray. Never blowing smoke when she gets pissed. She's quick to castrate. Love her on a good day. Love her on a bad day. Either way, she's here to stay, stay, stay.